What's up, Nintendo Gamers? Decade here. And yeah, I'm going to be talking about Nintendo and their gaming drought as of now for Wii U. So, Reggie Fusume, or you can just call him Nintendo, has said that there wouldn't be another game drought like there was in 2013 for 2014, early 2014. Um, he says in a quote, the way we're going to be different is we're going to certainly have a steadier pace of games for both the Wii U and 3DS. He also says we're not going to be making the same mistake in 2014 with the game drought. So now we're in 2014 and there's a game drought for the Wii U. Nintendo, when you say game drought, do not count the 3DS for both systems. Not everybody have both systems, okay? That doesn't count. There is most certainly a drought with the Wii U. Once again, once again, and it's fairly annoying. We've gone a whole, what, two months, no games, um, until, or three months, until Donkey Kong Country Tropic Freeze released in um, February, and late February at that, and now we have to wait all the way till the end of May to get another game. Now, I'm just gonna have a disclaimer right here so no one can really try to even call me out on it. I know that Nintendo can have another Nintendo Direct and they can announce some games coming out fairly soon, but I doubt they'll announce any game that's coming out um, anywhere in April or anything. Maybe, I don't know, it's possible. So there's the disclaimer. I know that can change, this can all change. But at the same time, we should have had release dates a long time ago. When we had that February Direct, we should have had release dates for all these games coming out, Bayonetta 2, X, all that. We should have the freaking name of X, man. It's getting redundant at this point. It's not getting any hype generated trying to conceal the name of this game. We know it's a Xenoblade game, so stop playing like it's not, you know? And, you know, one thing I want to call Nintendo out on that really, really pisses me off is how I, I, I'm pretty sure Nintendo just lies to the fans to get them excited, to make them feel like, oh, these games are coming, and then they don't. This happened in 2013. We've got told the wonderful 101 was a launch title for the Wii U. It will launch on, on the Wii U when New Super Mario Brothers U and all those other great games come out, as well as Lego City Undercover. Nintendo, there is no way you didn't know those games would not be ready at that time. You just told us that so that you can hype us up and then tell us last minute, oh, well, uh, these games are delayed. I know for a fact that the wonderful 101 was not near completion when you announced it to be launched on, um, launched on the Wii U the day the Wii U comes out. It was not complete. Looking at that game and then looking at the complete completed product, it's a huge difference in quality. That game was nowhere near completed, but you told us that it will be ready for launch. No, it wasn't. I believe you guys lied. And for people, you know, you can't just think Nintendo is, oh, we don't say things, we don't lie, we don't uh, mislead our customers or anything. They're a business. You know, they're going to say whatever appeals to their customers, to the group of people who buy their products, of course. That the same with Lego City. Lego City did not launch on uh, the launch of the Wii U. It launched in uh, what March, uh, sometime after, I believe, uh, sometime after. But the a lot of games that they said will launch on the Wii U, including Pikmin 3, did not launch. They actually came quite late within the year of 2013 with the wonderful one coming out in September of 2013, which was basically a whole year later. 
how did you underestimate that? You know, you had to have known that game was not anywhere near completed. And Pikmin 3, I don't even know why Pikmin 3 wasn't in, on shelves, you know, earlier. Pikmin 3, looking at it, it looked like a game that should have been done considering how short it was. It seemed like a game that shouldn't have taken that much more time to complete. And knowing Nintendo's been working on this game for years and years since the GameCube was out, there's no way I would believe that this game was not going to, should, should have been um, ready for launch, or I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. But the same thing is happening right now in 2014, where we got told in 2013, Mario Kart 8 is going to be coming later that year in 2013. It's not. It's coming in May. We got told it's going to be spring. Now it's May. May is basically summer. So there we go. Another underestimate. So yeah. And Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Yeah, it was supposed to come out December. As a matter of fact, Retro is said to have completed that game in November completely. It, 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 it was done, you know, and they moved on to a new game. Um, that was just confirmed a few days ago. So you guys had time to actually release it But if you guys would have released it in December like you guys were supposed to well You said we would have absolutely nothing right now for the Wii U right now for till May basically so Nintendo you're doing you're making the same mistake you know and I think you guys are getting your just due. Your console's not selling well. The Wii U is not selling well. And really, the marketing for this thing is atrocious. And, you know, the games are great. I'm going to give you that. The games are excellent. They're masterpieces once they come out. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze and Super Mario 3D World. They're both masterpieces. And Pikmin 3, all those other games, they're great games. But at the same time, you have to have a steady flow, which you guys aren't doing. You guys aren't doing that. And, you know, it's really showing. You're interesting no one into the console. There's nothing proprietary to have with your console people rather get the ps4 because well they're going to have all the third party support and the xbox one they're going to have exclusives and stuff of course wii u has exclusives but you know mario games and all that stuff and people are complaining hey there's a little bit too many platformers on the wii u can you switch up the genres a little bit in the games nintendo revive you you guys have so many ips and franchises just sitting there dead revive them and make profit maybe you you guys say oh Star Fox, it doesn't sell well f-zero it doesn't sell well nintendo it's been a whole generation try it out again and do something new and creative with these franchises and maybe you will spark gold with these franchises you can't just say oh last generation well two generations ago it didn't sell well so that means the whole freaking series is screwed it's never going to sell well no there are many people wanting a new f-zero and there are probably many nintendo fans both old and new willing to try out these series for the first time or since the last installment and been yearning for it you know you guys got kid icarus make another kid icarus game you don't need masahiro sakurai to make the game just basically make a new story and all that stuff but mimic the gameplay and design of it while also keeping it fresh and new and innovating it you know you don't need just him anyway guys that's the end of my rant um tell me what you guys think about this whole drought and nintendo and they're underestimating their release dates and just seems like they're completely flat out lying in our faces tell me all that in the comments below if you think so don't forget to like and favorite this video and subscribe to my channel for more nintendo videos and updates on their upcoming games thank you guys for watching again and i'll see you guys next video